He's a good dad, man. I'm just happy he's still alive. Yeah, he's hanging in there, man. Old popsicle, you can't kill him. Can't be done. He's almost died a bunch of times. Like a lot of times. I could do another hour on how many times he's almost died. I think one of my favorite times. He's alive. <laughs> I had to mow the grass when I was a kid. That was my job. In between our yard and our neighbor's yard, we had these railroad ties that separated our yards. Yeah, y'all, I know y'all know what railroad ties are. Some people don't know, I have to tell them. It's a square log, stupid. I don't know why they were there. We had eight of them right in a row. I guess he thought the Polar Express might be coming through. <laughs> All I know was I had to edge up against these logs, right? So I'm out there, I'm edging. I'm edging, you know. This is how I edge, I go like that. <laughs> so I'm just edging. And all of a sudden, I see a bunch of bees just hanging out on this one log. I was like, screw that. <laughs> Skip that log. Finish the rest of the yard. Go in and tell dad I'm done, which is a mistake. Right? As soon as you tell your dad you're done with the job, what'd he do? Yeah. That's my dad. He goes, oh, let's take a looky-looky out here. <laughs> you finished already? That was fast. Okay. What's this right here? That one right there? That, the one with the grass coming out of it. <laughs> Mr. Spot, didn't you? I was like, Daddy, I think there's a bee's nest under that log. He goes, bee's nest? <laughs> bee's nest? Are you going to go with that one? Bee's nest. You think I'm stupid, son? Bees live in trees. He said those words. Like he, he rhymed it. Bees live in trees. And then he took the lawnmower, kicked the log over with... Mowed over where the log was. And, well, it was a wasp nest in the ground. They can do that. Google it. I think he thought if he put the lawnmower on top of that nest, then all those bees would get magically sucked into the bag on the side of the lawnmower. Right? But bees don't work like that. They're not very cooperative. Bees are crafty some bitches. It was about five seconds. He had a cloud of 500 bees. Hovering his head, which is now a honeycomb. <laughs> he can't see. He's swatting bees. He's trying to punch bees out of the sky. He's running uphill in a zigzag pattern. I said, Dad, that's for alligators, not bees. <laughs> Lawnmower's going downhill by itself. He's taking out the neighbor's bushes. And here's the kicker. We have a swimming pool that he could have jumped in for a second to get the bees off of him. He ran past the pool. When I say past the pool, I mean next to it long ways. It was there. He was here. He ran past the pool and he got in his truck and he drove off. He got the hell out of there. I mean, he floored it. He did a donut gone. Gone for two hours. No cell phones back then. You couldn't call him. He just left. You didn't know if he's coming back. He came back two hours later. And we was worried about him. He came back, man. His face was red and puffy. It looked like a dodgeball with a chicken pox. I was like... Daddy, what happened? Are you okay, Daddy? What happened? Because I tell you what happened. <laughs> I had bees on me, dumbass. <laughs>